the name, huh? Like a soldier. I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. March until it's over. Hello, friends and allies, and welcome to another video. In today's video, I want to be talking about a few tips when it comes to the double experience, but first... What we want to be doing is increasing our damage by any kind of measurements. So, a tropical marinated tiger is increasing our medic level by 3 for 1 hour. And if your hireling have the skill cooking, it will cost you on average 90k to get a marinated tiger. And this is great to be using on uh, knights and paladins. But remember, if the monster are decreasing your magic level, they are removing the, um, the cook or the pie or whatever you want to call it. But now during double, I'm always using the tropical marinated tiger on my EK to be boosting my healing, but also my avalanches. And this works even greater on and paladin. So if you take a look on the skill chart, you can see the timer. And when you kill a monster, it's directly jumping down two minutes. So my tip for you guys is that when you're buying experience boost, buy it while hunting, so you do not lose two minutes. And when it comes to praise, what praise are best during double? Well, if you have 100%, 225%, 150%, 375% or whatever percentage. The experience prey has the same effect no matter what, but if you have defense prey or damage prey and you have the possibility of going harder, they are scaling with your experience percentage. So XP prey isn't that special during double, but the damage prey can be the very best praise. And remember that the regain timers or the happy hour have changed. So a fully happy hour takes 18 hours to gain back the 3 hours of green. But remember that if uh, let's say you are waiting for the perfect spawn with the best experience. But you are getting the spawn in 3 hours or 6 hours. It's actually worth to be going hunting to never be on full happy hour. It's better to just make the short hunt to never have full happy hour and you will gain it back quickly. And if you are a solo mage, it might be worth to be assuring that you have a weapon which have medic level and crit on it. And the same goes for knights and paladins. If you are duo hunting, it might be an option to be swapping into uh, having an increase in your skill on your weapon as well. This is to say that a knight with a 2 imbue slot item could go for a skill increase and crit but I think this will only be working if you're duo hunting solo, it might be hard. And if you want to be making your character stronger now during the double experience, should you be focusing on training your skill or should you be trying to gain some experience and levels? Well, the rule is pretty simple when it comes to damage. If you increase your levels by 10, it's equal to taking one medic level you increase the same amount of damage on average which is two damage on average so make sure that you know what you should be focusing so if you have low skill it might be good to be skilling and if you're lower level it might be good xping but if you're low level you might have low skill as well so you know you know yourself what you should be doing so happy xping and i will see you guys in the next video